We are in the suburbs of Athens, Melissa. Meet George, my friend and experienced real estate professional. He lived in Vancouver, Canada for 10 years and eventually decided to move back to Athens. Athens has, let's say, a more authentic European feel to the city, something that North American cities do not have. We discussed the cost and quality of living in Athens compared to North America, whether it is worth buying property here, and if so, in which areas, and why George chose to live in Greece and moved from Canada. I myself uh, do prefer a European city, which is large enough to accommodate any lifestyle need that I may have. Either that is a night out by the sea with a, in a good restaurant, or a good coffee, cocktail, or even in my business needs, which uh, Athens can accommodate as well. There's a lot of big businesses, Fortune 500 companies in Athens, that allows me to live in Athens like I would any other European city. And then what about quality of life? It's still less or more expensive to live in Athens compared to Canada. Go to restaurants, you know, shopping, food, yeah, Canada is a very expensive place. <laughs> to go out, you would probably need $100 or more. Here in Athens, uh, of course, the lifestyle does not match what the cost of living can afford you. So we can go out, have a nice dinner, have a nice uh, bottle of wine, and it'll be very relatively cheaper than any major North American city. And probably very more less expensive than European cities as well. How to choose the right place to live in Athens? It's quite a big city. Which areas yeah, do you like the most? The most Canadians I talk to, Americans and North Europeans, uh, they do like two regions of Athens. One is Lifada, southern Athens, where it's more by the sea. If you were there previously, you will see a more Los Angeles type of vibe in the area. Yeah. The second city which we are right now is in the northern suburbs of Athens. We are in Melissia area right now, neighboring Marusi, the financial sector of, uh, of Athens. And uh, it is popular because of the upper class residents in the city, but also lots of the inhabitants are the uh, international community in the northern suburbs. So you have a lot of embassies the major international schools are all headquarters in the northern suburbs of Athens, which just means that um, a lot of international families live in the area. It won't be uncommon to get a coffee and hear English. It's not uncommon in this area. But if you move here and live here, can you communicate with local people in English? Or it's better to know Greek? Everywhere in Greece uh, is a very highly educated population. so. Everybody does know English. I think uh, from the ages of 10 to even 70, most people that you can talk to, you can have a good conversation in English. I don't think there's no problem there. If you move to Athens, is it better to rent an apartment or to buy an apartment? I think uh, buying your apartment right now is the most major um, investment choice you can make towards a capital appreciation in the next three to five years. It really depends on what your goals are. If your goal is to uh, rent out the apartments long term and collect rent, buy in a good area, uh, which is very kind of expensive, but you have a good lease, so the yield is there for you to collect each and every month. I myself have a goal of uh, purchasing an apartment in this exact area. Uh, because really we're in the middle of an international hub where there's international schools, there's embassies, which means there's a lot of security in the area as well. But also there's Fortune 500 companies uh, that uh, I can work for too, or my family can work for. So uh, one of my goals is to, to you know, get a good mortgage from a financial institution here in Greece, in the Greek bank, and uh, get an apartment here. Can you show maybe the apartment what you would love to buy? Yes, it's actually just around the corner. I'd love to show you. 
It's a typical apartment block in the area. The development company where George works bought it and did a total renovation. All the houses have their charm, usually a solid structure, a secure gated area, and the ground floor is used for a garden and the parking. I think it's in a beautiful location in the northern suburbs here in Malaysia. Uh, right now, this is going to be developed into a luxurious building of four apartments. One apartment on each floor, 180 square meters of space on one floor. I can't wait to show you. I myself, I won't, be, I won't lie to you, I would love to live here. We like to take advantage of the open space. So yes, we have open space parking for each apartment, but let me show you something, if I may. Yeah. Come with me. You won't find this so often in Athens. You can take advantage of the nice garden in the back. There is a lift and we are going up to the third floor. The white marble staircases that go all the way down and the huge window here that has natural light coming in. It is 180 square meters of open space. Huge apartment and it takes up the whole floor. What you'll see is wrap around balconies throughout the, throughout the apartments and almost each and every bedroom and room has its own balcony. Here is the living area, fireplace, you can mount your TV here, have your couch, wrap around couch over here. So what we, we're greeted here with this huge island that takes up all the kitchen. As you can see, the whole area here of the, of the apartment is uh, great for entertaining guests and your family as well. So you have nice stools on the island, put your family together, have a good breakfast before you go to work. Here you have the first bathroom, yeah. which is the guest bathroom. Amazing closet space here. And then this room here is your own laundry room. And then this room could be either a bedroom or your own office. Each and every bedroom has their own balcony. So not only is this a spacious bedroom, it has this huge wraparound balcony yeah. too. So wake up, enjoy the sun. Another bedroom, exactly the same. Over here you have another balcony for the use of this room. So either, there's so much natural light filling up the whole apartment. There's windows everywhere. And here is the primary bedroom. Here we have an ensuite bathroom. If you need help finding an apartment in Greece, feel free to message me on WhatsApp or Telegram. All my contacts are below. And if you like my videos and want to support me, please like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 180 square meters, including or excluding the terrace? It's 180 square meters excluding this terrace, wow. which is a huge terrace. As you can see, it wraps around the whole apartment. Okay, so what is the price? The price right now is 590,000 euros. To obtain a golden visa, you must invest in a property minimum of 500,000 euros in this area of Athens. Therefore, purchasing this apartment entitles you to apply for residence permit in Greece for the whole family. George explained about the opportunities to move to Greece from North America. There's always a, a framework which is offered towards North Americans to come in and uh, live in Greece. The first one is the Golden Visa Residency by Investment Program, uh, which is very widely used in the Middle East and Israeli markets, as well as Asia. The North Americans are now catching on to this, that they can actually move 
and retire in a beautiful, beautiful Greece, have the lifestyle of a European capital for 250,000 euros, which for the North American market in most American and Canadian cities is the price of a one bedroom suite. If you do sell that one bedroom suite, you can enjoy a luxurious condo, small but luxurious, in a nice region of Athens, in a European capital, and enjoy an investment that gives you a residency. Can you use also your pension savings in North America to buy something here? Definitely. You can uh, cash in on your 401k, you can cash in on your pensions that you've been saving up, and of course, uh, we have programs in place. We are an EU country, which means that we have trusted associates that will guide you throughout the way and everything is uh, backed by the law. What about medical care? If you compare medical care in Canada and in Greece? Most companies are government related medical care in Canada, mm -hmm. whereas the US it's more privatized. Canada is not. That does not mean it's better or worse than the American market or the American healthcare system. Uh, it is almost the same as the Greek system. So if a Canadian decides to um, invest 250,000 euros in Greece, get their residency program, and also have healthcare provided to them, I think that's exactly what they were used to in Canada. What about Greek banks? Is it an easy or simple process to open a bank account, to transfer funds here? Like any other bank in any other country in the European Union, all banks and financial institutions of Greece are backed by EU banks as well. You can transfer as long as the country you are from allows you to transfer your money into a European Union country. You can do that easily with any major banking. And uh, the company that uh, I work for actually has a process in place uh, that can help these residents out. Where is easy to do business and uh, make money? In Canada or in Greece? It really depends on the sector you are in. I would say right now, uh, the North American market, especially in the west coast of the US and Canada, and probably the east coast, you are looking at uh, prices that have reached uh, a type of uh, climax in terms of uh, the, the market's demand. So you have San Francisco, San Diego, all of California, all the way from Seattle and Vancouver as well, uh, have a serious inflation rate problem in real estate. There is demand, however, the prices are so high right now, it just, you cannot really touch the real estate market, and therefore there's not that much opportunity to make money on this. What we do have is Athens, a, a lively European capital, that after almost a decade of recession, of economic crisis, is now coming and flourishing again. So whoever comes into the Athenian market now and invests in real estate, either that is a retail store or in a very nice apartment, you're coming in at the very beginning of this. Where other markets are very mature, Athens is just starting to flourish. Do you have any questions left about moving and living in Greece? Please write in the comments. And if you need my help or my colleagues from DKG Development to find the best apartment to live or invest in Athens, feel free to message me on WhatsApp or Telegram. All my contacts are below. And like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss anything exciting in the future. That's it for today and I look forward to welcome you in Greece.